Hello, welcome back. I'm Neil Peterson. We are reading often in the newspapers and around the media in the world about how workers are perishing, working in unsafe conditions. There's a recent report that came out of the United States about the meat inspectors who have been visiting the various meat producing locations, facilities, to inspect what is going on in those facilities. And to date, about 40 of these inspectors have died. Over 130 are critically ill in hospital with COVID-19. And an additional 100 plus of these inspectors have gone into self-isolation because they've been exposed to the virus in these work conditions. Now those are just inspectors. Those are not the workers in the meat, pork, or poultry packaging facilities. So what is happening to those workers who are working on these lines in close proximity to each other, without protective gear, without face masks, how many of those folks are also perishing? We are hearing that in the supermarkets in the United States, there is going to be less uh, poultry, there's going to be less pork, because the supply lines are being affected. Here is something that is, we have to really look at and question. Why is human life being prioritized underneath profits? Why are profits superseding that we must keep things open? Now there is a balance between profitability and sustainability. There is a balance as well about keeping economies open because it's about keeping people at work. But are our values in the wrong place? Should human life not supersede and trump all aspects of how our society functions? Capitalism is the best model that we know of at this point, but capitalism has become impacted in a very negative way. We have crony capitalism, where monies are given to your friends to be able to make profits to come back to you uh, as the shareholder, not looking at market dynamics, not looking at the well-being of the environment, not being at the well-being of, of, of people. We really truly have to put people and planet ahead of profit. We have to become very purpose-driven on what is our mission in the world of capitalism. If we jump across the Atlantic to some reports coming out of France, there is a huge surplus of cheese. And this huge surplus is happening because the restaurants are not open and hence there's no demand for the cheese. And so you've got these high-end premium cheeses that they're trying to sustain the prices of at a high price, at a higher price. And so they are now talking about destroying that cheese. There's a surplus of milk because there's no demand for milk. They're talking about taking milk powder and tossing it on the land to take some of this excess supply out of the marketplace. I am concerned about what our principles and policies and values, not just for our current generation, but for future generations are, when it comes to how we look at this entity of profitability. I remember as a child growing up in South Africa, and there was this huge surplus of eggs. And instead of the, the egg poultry producers putting those eggs on the market at a cheaper price when we have starvation, when we have poverty, they were digging trenches and throwing those eggs, breaking them into trenches and then burying them uh, over to keep them off the marketplace to sustain price. In today's world of where we face poverty, where people are struggling, why are we not doing the right thing? Why are we not saying, yes, prices are going to fall? But a smaller profit or no profit is better than people perishing, people dying. We truly have to really look at what are the principal drivers of capitalism. What are free markets in relationship to our people, to our planet, and to the prosperity of society? I'm Neil Peterson. We have to continue this conversation. I'd like to hear your views of how you think we can solve some of these big issues.